here in the north of Lund was built a whole new technical faculty. And I know it well because this is where I started to study mathematics. In that room over there, I had my first exams. Expansion, but not just expansions in numbers, also very good quality. Here, Lars Hermander was professor at the time. He was the one who's got in Fields Prize in mathematics, which is about like the Nobel Prize. He was the son of a local school teacher. He was sent to Lund to study, had the advantage of having an interesting teacher belonging to the famous Hungarian tradition of mathematicians called Marcel Ries. He had come to Lund and was the teacher of Hermander, who wrote about partial differential equations and became world famous for that. With a good mathematics, good technology, good natural science, we also got a new science park outside here, the Ideon. A lot of mobile telephones, a lot of biotechnology has started out there. In some sense, most exciting and most weird is the thing we have right outside the windows here, a, a fountain, a non-functioning fountain. The architect for this campus area, he had a friend who was a sculptor, and they decided they should build a real big fountain here. So they built this huge thing. There were containers, and they pumped up water, and then the water flowed down into the ponds over here. The problem was it didn't work. It broke, the glass wasn't strong enough. So in the end, one had to decide, no, it can't be used. So it's been standing. Now it is the non-functioning fountain. And one can take it as a bit of a symbol for a good university. Fascinating ideas, but unfortunately, well, it didn't really work. Okay, so we do something else about it. Now, we need to end this story. And to do that, we go even further north, back to the hills north of Lund, where we started 